Hey Kingdom Explorers, I'm Mr. Josh. And I'm Miss Kim. And today we're coming to you again from our kitchen. It's a little bit rainy outside, but we've had a beautiful week. We sure have. This week coming up is going to be Memorial Day on Monday. Memorial Day is an American holiday that celebrates the lives of all the military service men and women who have died in active duty fighting for our purpose. So please remember our military service members in your prayers this week. Absolutely. Also, speaking of holidays, we're going to talk about a Jewish holiday today called Purim. Uh, Miss Cynthia is going to bring our memory verse to you in a little bit. And we're going to have a Bible lesson. Um, also, Miss Kim and Sarah are doing another cooking adventure in our kitchen. That's right. And it's my and Miss Kim's anniversary this week on Wednesday. We'll be married 20 years this week. So, it's time to go see what Miss Cynthia is up to. Let's go. Hey guys, Miss Cynthia here. And today we're going to talk about the story of Esther. Now, I know that all of you have had to do hard things before. We all know what it's like to have to do something hard or challenging. In fact, it's such a common theme, there's even a book about it Do Hard Things. Today's lesson is about somebody who had to go above and beyond in doing hard things. Last week I enjoyed our lesson about Jonah so much with Mr. Billy in Alabama. We're going to kick it on over to them and see the story of Esther. Presenting the story of Esther, starring Esther, the girl who became a queen. <laughs> Mordecai, Esther's cousin. Yay! King Xerxes, master of all he surveys. <laughs> and the evil Haman. What a jerk. Haman, what am I going to do about Queen Vashti? Queen Vashti, she's not even the queen anymore. You've deposed her. Well, you know I've got a plan mean? for you, oh, King you did, Xerxes. Yeah. Yes. I need a good plan. For the last few months, we have been preparing some other young women Ooh. for you to choose a new queen. Huh? Huh? That's a great idea. Great idea. Should I bring them before you? Bring them all. First go. You, sir. How will I ever just, you know, choose between? Mm. Mm. I, I don't know how you would do it. I, I don't envy you at all. They're all so lovely. They are lovely. Shall I bring them all before you again? Please, let me look at one more time. It's a hard decision, but I gotta go with my gut feeling on this one, Hayman. Hey, Oh, nice choice you have. <laughs> oh, my oh. Thank you for that. That was a really great idea. You know, you've, you've proven to be one of my most, you know, trusted advisors. You know, a matter of fact, you should be the number two oh. in charge of this whole kingdom. Huh? Huh? Well, sire, I, I, I haven't done anything to deserve that. I say we should proclaim this throughout the kingdom, that you are the second in command and you should be bowed to. Well, uh, if you insist, sire, I'll, <sighs> I I will do. be glad to, to be in that position. So let it be written. So let it be done. Jeremiah, how you doing? Looking good. Gaining weight. Look at you go. Pick up your apples, you try. No, that. Oh, Cousin Ashton, look at you. Yay! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're wearing that shiny crown. You got a flower? Is it true? Did it happen? You'll never believe. I knew it. I knew God had a plan for you all this time. I knew it. I've been telling you for years. 
I've been telling you, cousin been Esther, telling. it's fantastic. So, so here's the deal: you can't tell them that you're Jewish. Whatever you do, don't tell them you're Jewish. It'll it'll be bad, really bad. But that's gonna be great. I'll I'll catch you at the castle. I'm gonna come by and see you at the castle. Okay. It'll be so great. Cool. I'm so happy and proud of you, cousin Esther. Good job. Get out of here. Okay. Don't be a queen and whatever. Okay. So long. Wow, that's a nice day. It's gonna be important. King likes me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man. Hey, hey, hey. I'm Haman, second command. Come on. My Come on. Apologies. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, ladies. Oh. It's Haman, remember? Uh. That's more like it. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. you, Mordecai. Hey, what's up, Haman? I'm second in command. You need to bow down to me. I can't do that, Haman. I'm sorry. What? I don't bow to you. I only bow to my king and my god. That's the only two things. Not you. We'll see about that. You don't have to be such a jerk all the we'll time. We'll see about that. Now yeah, we will see. Me and the king are like this. I'll see you around. Uh, that Mordecai. I can't stand that guy. You won't bow down to me. I'm second command in this kingdom. Got to think of a plan. I know. I know. I'll get him. I'll hang him high. In fact, he's a Jew. I'll get all of his people. I'll come up with a plan. I'll make the king sign a law that says all the Jews are going to die. I'll get Mordecai and all of his people. I can't sleep. Scrub! Yes, sir? Come in here and read to me. I can't sleep. I need something to put me out. I have the recent minutes. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, that's... Minutes. That'll do it. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. You elected 14 conspirators. Ooh. Yeah. You made a wall that no citizen shall be allowed to own both a turtle and the frog at pets. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was one of my best ones. Mordecai uncovered a plot by two of your soldiers to kill you. Good man. Wait! Read that again! Mordecai uncovered the plot by two of your soldiers to kill you? Mordecai! Hey! What did I do for him? That was a great thing he did for me. What did we, what did we do for him? Anything? Nothing. Uh, hmm! We must do something for him. We must honor him. Yes, sir. I'm alive because he's because of him. Hmm. Go get the guards. Get some scribes. Get the Haman. We need to we need to plan something. Yes, sir. Haman. Oh. Yes, yes. You you it's sent good. for me, sire. It's good to see you. Good to yes, see you. Yes, yes. You know, I, I had a sleepless night last night. Oh. And, uh, but it, it, I remembered something that happened that I haven't paid them out. I, I, there's a guy that helped me oh. and I haven't paid him back. Oh. So what do you, I want to get your your wisdom on this thing. Hey. Hey. Really tell me what I need to do. How we what, can I honor somebody? How can I, how can I honor somebody oh, well, of everyone else? Someone uh, has done something extraordinary. Well, if someone has done something extraordinary for you and you need to honor them, I, I think what you need to do is have someone lead them around the kingdom, put on one of your fine robes, maybe on one of your royal steeds, and lead them around the kingdom and just tell everyone, everyone in the kingdom, how great a person that is. That is a fabulous idea, Amy. That's why I got you here. I want you to do it. Okay. What? what you want me to do it? Are you, yeah. you going to do it for me? No, no, no. I want you to do the, lead, the guy, lead the man around that I found. That Who is this did. man? Mordecai. Why didn't you bring me over here? Haman wanted to meet you here. Haman? Oh, that guy hates me. He's just, what a beautiful horse. Look at Mordecai. Haman! Uh, You're gonna have to get a little closer. I can't hear very well, you know that. What are you doing here? By the king's orders. Yeah? You must wear his royal robe. Wait a minute, what? By the king's orders. You putting this on me? Yes. Okay, is this some, what's the trick here, huh? No trick. 
king's orders. I must lead you around the kingdom on his noble steed, Ooh. proclaiming your greatness to everyone. Oh, wow. My head of tables have turned. Now, yeah. Haman. Hey. 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 What do you know about that? Yeah. You look a little a little bit jealous, don't you, Hot Shot? Huh? You gonna lead me around? Okay, okay. Let's lead me around the steed? Yes. Everyone bow down to the great Mordecai who saved King Xerxes' life. Everyone bow down to King Xerxes' favorite guy, Mordecai. Everyone, everyone, you must bow down before Mordecai who saved King Xerxes' life. That's me. Bow down to Mordecai <laughs> to show him honor <laughs> for saving the king's life. You shouldn't have done it. Oh, come right, come you on, Mordecai. My cousin did. <laughs> That's enough. Come on, Bye, Mordecai. everybody. I got to go. Wow. Who's this? That had to be the most humiliating thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I can't stand Mordecai. Then, to make things worse, I have to take him around the kingdom and talk about how great he is. I'm gonna take this thing I just wrote up to the king, and I'm gonna make sure that Mordecai gets his. Not only him, I'm gonna get all his people. Yeah, I'm gonna go see King Xerxes right now. Hey, man, what seems to be troubling you? Well, sire, there seems to be a conspiracy in the kingdom. Conspiracy? Yes, sire. There's there was some people that were brought over in exile years ago by Nebuchadnezzar that that are living here. And I, I believe there's going to be an insurrection here before long. Who would be so bold? Hmm. It's those Jews. The Jews. They don't obey any of our laws. They have their own things that they do. So I've come up with this plan to take care of these traitors. On the appointed day, we will make them all pay. That's why I put you second in the command. So you need to put your stamp on this. Care of that Mordecai. Oh, cousin Esther! Cousin Mordecai, what's wrong? Oh, it's the worst. You're never gonna believe it. Oh. Oh. Have you seen this? No, what is it? Oh, it's a decree from from the king and from that probably that jerk Haman. Look, it says they're gonna wipe out all of our people. That's what the decree says. It's the worst. You gotta you gotta do something. You're the queen. Oh, Cousin Esther, there's a reason God made you the queen. You got something. He's got a plan for you. I know it. Okay, how about this? Mm -hmm. Tell our people to fast and pray for three days. Uh -huh. And then I'll approach the king. Right. Three days. Three days. I knew God made you the queen for a reason. I'm going to go tell him right now. Okay. Thanks, Cousin Esther. Room, sire. Answer. Oh, Esther, come in, my dear. King Xerxes, please come to a banquet I've prepared for you and Haman tonight. Ooh, banquet? Me? Oh, yeah. I'd be glad to go. Let's do it. Hey. Hey. Uh -huh. invite me to this banquet on two nights in a row. It's awesome. Yeah, this is quite a lovely affair, dear. Yeah, the food is so delicious. I know, the, the, the feast the other night was great, too. And, yeah, you know, I talked to you about, you know, what you desire. I mean, what do you want? I mean, what do you need? Well, I need you to save my people. I kept this from you, but I'm a Jew, and you signed this royal proclamation saying all Jews would be killed. What? <laughs> Oh, jeez, when did I sign that? What, why? It was that evil Haman! Uh, Haman? What? How dare you? It's the Jews, you know, you can't trust them! You know, my queen is a Jew! Am I supposed to kill her? What you had planned for Mordecai shall be done to you! Now leave! Cousin Esther, you did it? Boy, we're saved. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, because of you. I'm so thankful, and God did have a plan for me. 
I told you I had a plan for you all along. How do you know about that? He had a plan. You were right. You were right because Mordecai. Yes. And now, look at this. I'm being honored all over Haman and all those other jokes. <laughs> the end. Wow, that was a great story. Thanks so much to the Kingdom Kids team for putting that together for us. I really enjoyed it. Now, I wanna talk about the story a little bit because while we said earlier, we all have had to do hard things before, I don't think many of us have had to put our lives on the line for an entire race of people. And that's the position Esther was in. The Jewish people were in trouble and they needed a mediator. Do y'all know what a mediator is? It's someone who goes between two different groups and works things out between them and makes things right between them. And so Esther was a mediator for the Jewish people. We have a mediator too. Our mediator is Jesus. And Jesus is the one that goes between us and God and makes things right between us. And he saved us just like Esther saved her people. Next time you're faced with a hard choice, I want you to remember that God is with you, to have faith and to know that God will help you to do the hard things that you need to do. Hey Explorers, welcome back to our kitchen with me and Sarah. Today, our Bible story was about Esther. So we're gonna talk about a Jewish holiday called Purim that celebrates all of the events in the book of Esther and God delivering the Jews, the Israelites, from the persecution of the Persian Empire. So, Purim is a really fun holiday. Everybody dresses up in costumes and they give out baskets full of goodies to their family members and to the poor people. One of the traditional goodies in that basket that they give out is called Hamantishin. Hamantishin is a triangle shaped cookie it has a filling in the middle of it. That's what we're going to make today. So, I've got our baking soda, salt, flour, and sugar all mixed together in the bowl already. And Sarah's going to add our wet ingredients. We've got a third cup of orange juice, two eggs, a half a cup of butter, and a teaspoon of vanilla. So when your dough looks about like this, it's a little crumbly, it's ready to form into a ball and roll it out. So you're gonna take the dough ball and place it on a floured surface and roll it out. You wanna roll it pretty thin, about an eighth of an inch thick. So once you have your dough rolled out pretty thin, we're gonna cut it into circles using a glass or a biscuit cutter if you have one. Once you have all of your circles cut out, it's time to fill them. So we're just using strawberry preserves to make. Go ahead, Sarah, put about a teaspoon in the middle of each one of these circles. And what makes these cookies really unique is their shape. Once you get done putting the filling in, we're gonna fold them into triangles. Okay, so we're gonna fold these cookies into triangle shapes. And the reason why they are in triangles is because it said that Haman wore a triangle shaped hat on his head and that's why the cookies are shaped like triangles. So there's going to be some tension at the corners just to make sure all the filling doesn't fill out, spill out. And you're going to repeat the process for all your cookies. All of our cookies are folded into triangles and now we're going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. We took our cookies out of the oven and we're going to transfer them to a cooling rack because the centers are very hot. Our Kamehameha cookies have cooled and they're ready to eat. And they look really delicious. I've had a great time with you guys today. Don't forget, wash your hands. This week's memory verse is Esther chapter four, verse 14. Who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. These are the words of Mordecai talking to Esther. And I want you to think about those words today as you learn and commit that, heart, that um, verse to your heart. Who knows, but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. 
Now guys, I miss y'all so much and I would really love to hear from you. So if you get a chance, I would like it if you could drop me a note, an email, give me your prayer request, just tell me what you've been doing and let me know how things are going. So my email address is gonna be on the screen. It's cjohnson at wfrchurch.org. I love you guys and I hope to see you in person real soon.